as you can see right now the Mahindra Thar is performing park regeneration it's been about two minutes since I started the regeneration at first the engine spun at 2200 rpm and now it's up to 2500 rpm and what's trying to do is it's trying to burn off all the soot particles in the diesel particulate filter well the reason for why we need regeneration in BS6 diesel vehicles is that um, the diesel particulate filter gets clogged if the engine is running at lower RPMs and doesn't have a chance to go to higher levels of RPM. This typically happens when the car is actually driven a lot within the city in bumper to bumper or slow moving traffic for several months. So for example, in my car has been driven in the city of Chennai now for almost five months, never had a chance to do an out of town trip. Now what happens when that happens is the particulate filter, which is supposed to filter out the, uh, the uh, pa particulate emissions, which are actually particles that are um, generated while uh, the diesel engine runs. Uh, now that filter gets clogged. And the way that BS6 vehicles actually clean that particulate filter is actually to burn off the particles by generating high exhaust heat. Now the high exhaust heat does not get generated when uh, uh, the engine is running at lower RPMs. So when you actually go on a long highway drive, what happens is that the engine RPMs tend to be close to 17 or 1800. For example, the diesel tar, it is a very lazy engine in the sense that the engine is over powered compared to the normal duties it needs to do and even at 100 kilometers per hour when you're driving in the freeway you actually are only spinning the engine at about 1600 rpm when you go to 120 kilometers per hour that's when the engine actually goes to about 2000 rpm so that means that in even in normal highway driving if you're driving slowly it's very likely that the park region the regeneration function is not actually happening uh, because the engine is still spinning too slowly and the exhaust gases are not hot enough to burn off the particles in the DPF now the the best way to actually get rid of uh, and, and clean the DPF now see the regeneration is complete it's hardly been five minutes and the RPM is now down to 750, which is a normal idle RPM for the diesel tar. So you can actually see that the regeneration is a very simple process. Now it is a little bit tricky to get to start the regeneration because it's not very obvious on the menu. So what you have to actually do is when you get the DPF regeneration warning, you got to toggle uh, using the switch over here that is used to toggle the menu. Uh, and you have to keep toggling it, press, press, press. And uh, typically you would look for park regeneration under the warnings, warnings menu. That's where I kept searching for park regeneration. Uh, you can see on the warnings, there is really no warnings now because the regeneration is actually done. Uh, but, um, you know, it's not under warnings. So that's the key. Uh, it is actually under the option called um, it's not under settings, it's under trip A. So if you go to trip A and then you go down using this toggle, you know, you, this switch, down the menu. So as you go down the menu, you'll see trip A and then how, uh, what's the average speed of the trip A and how long you've been doing that trip. And then go to trip B, which shows how long you've been doing the other trip, then the speed and time of that trip and then underneath that you'll see time and underneath that when the regeneration is actually on right below the time there will be request region option before you get back to trip a right so you keep going down go to the request region and then hit the enter key or keep the enter key pressed 
and the regeneration will start. So that's how park regeneration is done in the thar. But hopefully this video explains what happens during regeneration. The engine is run at high RPM. If it's really clogged, it might take 10 to 15 minutes. The so last time I did regeneration, it took 12 minutes because it was well into the clogging cycle of the DPF. This time, right as soon as the region warnings appeared, I had started uh, the regeneration. So it hardly took four to five minutes for the regeneration process to complete. So there is no need therefore to worry about DPF clogging issues in the diesel tar. Uh, there's a lot of articles on the internet and so on that talk about why uh, it's such a pain to buy the diesel tar or diesel cars from Mahindra or any other manufacturer after BS6 because of the, the regeneration uh, issue or the DPF clogging issue. But really speaking, all you need to do is just spend five to 10 minutes to regenerate as soon as you see that warning. You just have to have the car parked somewhere outside, ideally not in a garage, but as you know, it's going to run the engine at a high RPM. It's probably going to, uh, you know, uh, have a lot of uh, emission as, as, as uh, diesel particulate fil filters clean and the particles are burnt off. There's probably going to be a bunch of, uh, you know, things coming out of the tailpipe. So you don't want to park it inside a closed area. Just park it out on the street like I've done here. And then you just put the car into neutral so the gear the gearbox lever should be on neutral uh, like right here right it's on neutral right now and uh, now i move that to park because now i'm done with the regeneration and the handbrake should be uh, high so you should have set your handbrake uh, set the handbrake and then put the the gear lever into neutral then go into the menu just like i said go to trip a go all the way down you see the regeneration option hit uh, the enter button or press the enter button to start the regeneration and viola in um, five to ten minutes most likely your regeneration is done and the warning's gone and now it's clean right the car is clean and it's ready to drive i've been enjoying the diesel car now for two years and five months i've only done though 15 uh, 12,500 kilometers but I've enjoyed every bit of it, a couple of long distance trips, but a lot within the city. Actually, this is a great city car because of the high driving position and the fact that the engine and gearbox combination is truly magical. Uh, the way that the engine and the gearbox work together is so smooth, the automatic gearbox uh, of the Thar diesel, that it feels velvety. Of course, the ride is a bit bumpy. I'm thinking of getting uh, an additional a suspension from Arca, uh, which is supposed to smooth out the ride. But other than the ride, you know, it's just so nice to drive this car. It's got all the features you need. It's got a decent sound system and uh, it's got a marvelous engine and gearbox combination. So that's about park regeneration in the Thar. And uh, here's to wishing you a lot of great miles uh, on your Thar. Bye-bye.